America today. This is not an exaggeration. This is not a hoax. This is what's happening right now. And it's also no exaggeration to tell you that chemotherapy causes permanent brain damage. It's called chemo brain. You can look it up. Google it if you'd like. Read about chemo brain on Natural News, too. We have articles there. Chemotherapy causes permanent damage to the kidneys, to the heart, to the liver. It is a, quote, therapy designed to kill the patient, but stop just before killing the patient, hopefully only killing the cancer and barely keeping the patient alive. That's what it's designed to do. This is not medicine. It is a medicalized, chemical atrocity against our youth, against our families. You know, there was a time back in the late 1930s and the early 1940s when there was another nation that was rounding people up and its state was forcing them to be subjected to toxic chemicals. That state was Nazi Germany, of course. And it killed millions upon millions of children, adults, senior citizens, men and women alike, without any regard for the value of a human life, without any regard to freedom, free choice, or a parent's desire to protect their own children, to keep them safe from those things that might pose a danger to them. That state, fortunately, no longer exists. It, it fell, it collapsed. And today, America is picking up where Nazi Germany left off. There's a great book about that, in fact, by an author named Jim Mars. The book is called The Fourth Reich. And it's something you should read because America is picking up where Nazi Germany left off and it is applying the same kind of police state tyranny to its own citizens today that Nazi Germany applied to its citizens many decades ago. Not just in medicine, but also with the Patriot Act. Now, teenage boys are being arrested, taken out of their own homes, locked away without any due process, with no rights whatsoever under the U.S. Constitution. No legal representation, no right to call a lawyer. This is happening. This is happening right now. And it's going to get worse if we don't do something. We, the people, the people of America, if we don't do something to make this change, to take back our power, the power that our forefathers fought for, gave their lives for, if we don't take back that power, we will end up as slaves, slaves of a medical system, slaves of the food companies that now run the food supply and dominate the seeds and the seed technology. We will end up as slaves of an economic system designed to extract all the money as possible from our pockets, from our hard work and our efforts, leaving us penniless and helpless against a system that has stolen everything from everyone. We are so close to being enslaved in all of these areas right now that it is frightening beyond belief. And it is time, it is time to take back our freedom, to take back the rights that are supposed to be guaranteed to us under the United States Constitution, which has been utterly ignored by every president in recent memory, Obama included. It's time, friends. Take back your nation, or you will lose it. You will lose your freedom. You will lose your children. You will lose your health and perhaps your life. Because those corporations, those power structures in America today, they're playing for keeps. They don't value your life. They don't value your freedom. All they value is how much money you can make them through their exploitation of your body, your hard work, your organs, your tissues. If they can turn you into a vehicle that makes them money, then in their minds they have succeeded. And they will keep doing it to you until you stand up and you demand that they stop doing it. The states will do this. The nation will do this. The corporations will do this. They will continue to trample all over you. They will destroy your rights. They will destroy your freedoms, destroy your health in every way possible unless you find the courage to stand up and say, enough is enough. This is outrageous. This is ridiculous what's happening here, that the state would kidnap a child from a family 
and force that family to inject that child with toxic chemicals, otherwise the parents have to go to prison. Who's the terrorist now? Who's the terrorist? Who's harming families now? What can you do right now as a parent? Well, because of this situation, you're left with no choice. You're, the advice now is that never take your child to a conventional medical doctor. Why? Because now, if you don't follow that doctor's advice, you will be labeled a criminal. You will be arrested. You will have your child taken away from you. You'll be imprisoned. You'll be charged with a felony crime, perhaps. At least medical negligence for not following that doctor's advice. Now, it is your responsibility to stop taking your children to conventional medical doctors, period. No more visits at all. Only seek out naturopathic physicians. That's it. No more children to the doctor because you give up your freedom by doing so. If that doctor disagrees with you, if that doctor recommends something insane, like, ah, let's radiate your child's head, and you say, no, I don't think it's a good idea to radiate my child's head. Doctor says, too bad, I'm the doctor, I'm calling the police. They're going to come here, handcuff you, arrest you. Child Protective Services is going to take your child away. It's not an exaggeration. They're doing it. They're doing it right now. This isn't the first case. Daniel Hauser isn't the first. Abraham Cherix is another case. Many others. And more are coming. So don't take your child to a doctor. Boycott conventional medicine flat out. Don't even go there. Homeschool your children. Avoid the vaccinations. Take charge of your own health freedom. Teach your children nutrition. Feed them foods that keep them healthy so they don't have the medical problems cropping up like most kids do anyway. If you do these things, if you take responsibility for your children's health, then you might have a chance. You might have a chance of emerging through society getting them through the education system without turning them over to the state where they will become a mind slave and a medical slave and an economic slave and a political slave for the rest of their lives and a media slave as well, which is what most people have become. It's very sad. It's very sad. But I'm talking to the parents out there who resist that. And there are many of you I know because I've met you and you have the most incredible children in the world. The leaders, I think, of the future of human civilization on our planet. Children who haven't been vaccinated because they're healthy, they're raised on real food. They're raised with a real relationship with nature. They know what herbs are. They're not just growing up on TV and video games and social networking. They actually have a base in reality, a foundation of knowledge in the real world. And they're healthy from the inside out because they've never been damaged by conventional medicine. Those are the children that are the future of the human species, in my opinion. And congratulations to you if you're a parent raising one or more of those children. Live and pursue a holistic, natural living lifestyle. That's the only way that your child has a chance to be healthy and to be free for the rest of their lives. Thanks for listening, and I encourage you to take action quickly on this issue. Stand up for your rights Protect your children from the state, from the medical system, from the drug companies. Protect your children. And please, tonight, send a prayer out to Daniel Hauser and his family so that they may survive both cancer and the terrorist state that has now sentenced them to chemical injection. Thank you for your positive thoughts, for your prayers, and for your commitment to freedom, your commitment to natural health. Thanks for listening. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, reporting for naturalnews.com. Take care.